Hello everybody, welcome back to Course Design HQ. Um, today we have a, just a really quick video, um, basically just a little quick tip video on a bunker technique that I kind of um, have started using. Um, and I, I feel like it's really simple and it, it allows you to create really smooth bunkers, um, especially for like a newer designer. This, this, uh, this video will be more toward newer designers. Obviously, if you're a more experienced designer, this probably won't affect you as much, but I feel like for newer designers, this could be a really, really good um, bunker technique to use. Um, and I think it could make your bunkers look really clean. And, um, I, I would say, though, this this is probably more of a Parkland-style bunker technique. Like, you're, this is... If you're looking to create, like, a Parkland course, it's probably more... Probably be used more for that. You know, you can use it on, I guess, like a Lynx course too or something, but I feel like it works better with a, uh, a Parkland or this kind of course that I'm creating right now, which is a work in progress. I don't really have a name for it yet. But as you can see, some of the, some of the things we have, a couple holes over there. Um, so there's only a couple steps to this. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to do. Um, step one, you want to take your measure tool, and you're going to want to draw out your bunker. Um, so, one thing that this technique is really good with is if you want to create kind of like edges like that, like if you want to create a bunker, this is just a mock-up. If you want to create these kind of thin kind of slivers of rough cutting in, I find that that works really, really well. Um, we're just going to draw a bunker right here. It's kind of a random one to see what happens. Um, let's go like... Maybe something like this. Okay, so we have our bunker. It looks good. And now you always, you know, there's different ways you can, um, you know, make bunkers like this. Um, I find it's easier to draw them out with a measure tool first, just so you can kind of see how it looks. Um, and a lot of people will use uh, potentially a spline in this point, but the problem with splines is it's tough to get these little edges right here. So that's why we're going to use the bunker brush. So I recommend using the circle brush. You can use it another brush, but this one just works a little bit better. And the first thing you want to do is mark out your edges, your like kind of rounder edges. So here's one edge right here. We'll put a circle down for that. Kind of another edge right here. And kind of round that out a little bit. There's another edge right there. So now you've got your edges looking pretty... You can also... This is kind of an edge up here. So now you kind of have your edges laid out. Next thing you're going to want to do... So, well, first off, let me tell you the reason you do this. This will give you a nice clean look around the edges of your bunkers. And see, you're going to get some clean corners there. Very simple, very easy to do. Next up, you're going to want to make your brush pretty small. And this one by one, start going around the, is it the measure tool that you created. And keep going. Once you hit it, same thing on this side. And keep going around. Just one by one. Okay, and then up here, same thing. Again, it's not very difficult, but it works really well. And obviously, you see how there's more of a round part right here. Now, there is one downside to this, I would say. Not really a downside, but usually the flatter parts, like up here, is going to be really tough to get straight. I'm going to try to get this straight as I can. I think that's good enough right there. But as you can see, you have these, you have a really nice edge to the bunkers. You can get a really nice kind of sliver of rough. You can make that skinnier if you want to. A little too much. But you can make that as skinny as you want. Like maybe I want to make this one a little bit tighter. Like that. But it really allows you to kind of create a bunker that you really want. You can really draw it out. And it doesn't require any splines. You can brush the whole thing. Um, if there is any any like kind of problems, potentially at the at the very top, 
you could you could kind of do like a, a spline just kind of along the top which could potentially you know work a little bit better it didn't work that well but there are other ways to fix this yeah next step would be just to sculpt the bunker out so we're going to do that real quick we'll just do a really quick sculpting job here Uh, this might look better with, there we go. So obviously you're going to want to put some, you're going to want to raise the back up a little bit. And potentially raise up um, one of these or so. Fix that real quick. You know, if you really want to make those stand out, not the greatest sculpting job ever, but you get the picture. But you can really create a nice look here, and I've done it on a couple other holes as well. As you can see right here, you get that really clean kind of look coming around the edges. Um, of these mounds, of the like the rough kind of cutting in. As you can see, I've done it with a lot of the bunkers. Um, just be careful; you won't get a little inconsistency potentially on the edges, um, just because it's with a, a the brush. Um, but I think it looks really, I think it looks really good, especially like for this bunker right here. Using that circle brush, um, it's not very hard to do. Just one thing to remember: you want to lay out your edges first. Like I did, you want to take that bunker brush, and you're gonna to want to lay that out along the edges, around like the. If you want to create a circle, you can make it as big as you want, and you really get those rough cutting. Obviously, that's a very extreme level, but there you go. That's kind of a. That's kind of an example right there of, of what, what you can do with this technique. And it's very simple. Um, it is very similar to a lot of other bunker techniques where you'll draw out the, the thing in a measuring tool and then you'll kind of trace it around or whatever. But I feel, you know, if you go one by one placing out individual um, brushes, it comes out a lot cleaner and you get nice little, uh, these little things of rough coming into the bunker. And you can make really, uh, really small kind of parts of rough coming into the bunker look really clean. Which is something that you wouldn't really be able to do with a spline. So, yeah, that's just a little quick tips video on a little bunker technique I've been using on this new course that I have. Um, but you, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really liking it. I think it looks really good. You know, obviously, it's maybe if you're an experienced designer, it's not gonna, you're not gonna use this as much. But as a newer designer, you know, coming into the community, trying to build your first course or trying to get your course approved, and you're looking for that clean look with a parkland course. The bunkers. I think this is a really good idea and a really good technique to use. Um, so I hope this really helped. I hope you guys learned something from this. As always, make sure to slap a like on the video and subscribe. I'm hoping to have some more series coming out, maybe some quick tip series. Um, just let me know in the comments down below what you want. If you want a course playthrough, um, just put it down in the comments or on the TDC Tours um, YouTube thread that I have. Um, I'll definitely be looking at that. Always checking that. So. Feel free to put any comments of videos you want or uh, any you know, kind of feedback videos or tips and tricks like this one. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be sure to look at those and, and make some of those videos for you guys. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.